storage 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 if you like me and create a lot of content or you just have a lot of things like games or something that you want to save sometimes storage can be a problem and that's where this bad boy comes in yes this bad boy is the seagate gaming fire cuda and this is a gaming hub but you also can use it as a creator's hub let's get into it okay guys i'm super hype about this one this is something that i bought for myself and i'm gonna tell you why i bought it as a creator i create a lot of content i have a lot of different videos and sometimes i need to keep those videos and go back and edit parts out and put it with another video or mesh it all together me i run like three different channels and that content needs to go somewhere once I'm finished with it. And I need to be able to readily access that content if I need to go back or if I have fresh ideas. I'm like, man, if I take this clip from that video and this clip from that video, I can make a whole new video. So I need storage. I need a lot of storage. And this, the Seagate Gaming Fire Cuda, helps me with that. This is a massive capacity external hard drive hub. And I know you guys thinking, oh man, it's not a solid state drive. Again, me, my purpose for using this is somewhere to store my data. I have solid state drives in my computer, in my laptops. This is mainly for when I need to take that data off and store it somewhere. And this really, solves that problem for me so let's get into it we're gonna open the box okay the box was plastic wrapped and you want to make sure that if you're getting something like a hard drive or anything like that that it hasn't been tempered with so the plastic was a plus and seagate puts this little plastic seal right here it's pretty tough to get off and again that lets you know that it hasn't been tampered with i got mine from amazon you can check that out if you like what you see that bad boy was hard to get off which is a good thing okay so now we're diving into the box oh yeah first thing i pulled out the first thing i pulled out is of course the fire cuda user manual and this thing is in plastic this so you can see how big it is is it's about the size of my hand it's about the size of my hand you guys can see that give you a depth of how big it is all right and this too is in plastic and you guys should know if you have seen this thing out there that it lights up man it has the customizable rgb lights and i know that thing is gonna look great so this is what it looks like all right before we plug it up it also comes with these stickers you know you can put stickers on whatever you want to and it comes with a power cord with a bunch of different attachments and these attachments allow you to plug it up wherever you are, whatever type of wall outlet you have. I'm pretty sure it's in here because there's a lot of them. So in the front of this bad boy, you have a USB-A and a USB-C. On the back side, you have a power outlet and you have a micro B. And now, of course, we're going to go to the computer and I'm going to show you how to set it up on your computer. It's pretty easy. All right, guys, so once you plug it up, you might see it start glowing. It looks pretty dope. All right, it already looks dope. I'm pretty excited about it. All right, and after a while, you will see it pop up and it says Seagate Hub, whatever letter you have. Mine is currently D, so I'm gonna go to that hub. And from there, it's gonna say start here. And this is for Windows, that's for Mac. And we are dealing with Windows today. And I only deal with Windows. So once you hit the Start app, I'm gonna double click it. 
Well, you're going to see this pop up. And it's going to take you to this and you can register and I would recommend signing up for that so you can have access to the rescue data recovery services. And it's going to ask you if you want to download their toolkit to help you out. We're going to hit download. And then we're going to next. And we're going to download that and we're done right here. So we're going to get off of that. And then if you go to that installer app that you just installed, we're going to hit yes. You see something like that pop up, you're going to accept it. See the little icon now is on your desktop. It might ask for access and we're going to allow it. Yes. And now we have the app and from here, you know, you can customize your colors and things like that. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to give you a welcome. Thank you for being a Seagate customer. We got it. We got it. We got it. And now you can see everything with your Fire Cuda gaming hub. All right. And that's pretty dope. Of course, you can guys can see that it has only 15 terabytes. It's supposed to be 16, but 15 is still well enough for me. Um, of course, you got to understand that it has some type of formatting system and it has to have all that bootable data on the hard drive. So I'm pretty sure that's why. And you can back up your data once you put something up there. You can recover damaged files. You can mirror. Depends on how much stuff you have on your computer. And you can add your colors. Oh, man. Look at that. Yeah. I'm going to um, mess with these colors real quick. All right. So right now, if yours is like mine, it's probably glowing. There's a uh, bright orange color, but we're going to change that. Let's breathe. You can make it breathe. You can make it blink. On and off. You can make it a solid color. You can make it spectrum. And that spectrum is going to make it go from color to color. I like that. I like the spectrum. Or you can make it one specific color. I like rainbow too. Let's see what rainbow looks like. So I got mine set to rainbow and breathe. I think it looks pretty dope. I like that. So that's what I'm going to leave mine on for now rainbow breathe and i'm going to show you guys what that looks like so once you do pick whatever layout that you have you can hit done and that is how you handle the illumination the rgb setting which is one of the main attractions to it but again this is basically how you set it up. It was pretty easy, pretty simple, pretty quick. And especially for us Windows users. So now I know you guys want to see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like and then get our final thoughts. So now I have everything set up and this is the fire Cuda over here in the back glowing. It's pretty dope is going to add to my setup i like it look at that it's pretty cool and that's the fire cuda on the rainbow breathe setting looks pretty cool and again i think it's an excellent addition 
So that was the C8 Fire Cuda. Let me know what you guys think about this 16 terabytes gaming hub. I know how I'm gonna use it and it's gonna be perfect for my content creation. Let me know what you guys think. I hope this video was helpful for you. Peace.